Well, a highly valuable piece of Australian history is set to go under the hammer in London. The stamp collection could fetch more than $3 million when it goes to auction in just a few weeks. Owned by former mining magnate Hugh Morgan, the collection was started by his late father. Our reporter Lisa Maximovic caught up with him to find out why he's parting with the collection. Well, it's an incredible collection of stamps and certainly one of the most unique Commonwealth collections owned privately in Australia. It's been a labour of love for Hugh Morgan over his lifetime collecting them and a labour of love over the lifetime of his late father, William, as well. Hugh is kind enough to join me today ahead of the forthcoming auction of his collection. Uh, Hugh, tell us about why your collection is so special and so valuable. Well. It's something that's been collected over a long period of time through really two generations and it's specialised basically on the early stamps issued following Federation. Of course there were stamps for each of the states beforehand and then they were amended and replaced from about 1913 onwards. And that was a big adventure for the Commonwealth to actually work out what to do, whether it should be a, traditionally the head of the crown at that time or whether it should be something else replacing Australia and there were a series of essays or competitions that were implemented to try and resolve what should be the first stamp and it was really quite an adventure at that time. So this collection contains quite a number of those essays that were lodged to actually assist the, the resolution of the first stamps and then it, trans, it, it carries all the way through the whole of the first series of of the kangaroo series and the George V series and onwards after that. And you've got quite a modern collection in there as well and some unique pieces and some mistakes that were made by the Postal <laughs> Service in printing them. Well of course that happens actually from the very beginning of the kangaroos all the way through to when I stopped at 1970 which included the early parts of the Decibel series from 1965 onwards. And in that process, of course, mistakes are made as printers. They become the, uh, of interest to philatelists. It gives them the jollies to find something that's gone wrong, whether the paper's wrong, whether the printing's wrong, or it's upside down or sideways or something or other. And it becomes of particular interest to collectors. And this has a good representation of those. Your passion for Commonwealth stamps, is that something that you inherited from your late father? Well, uh, he collected, I mean, I started when I was about nine or ten, I think, and I collected everything like most other small boys at the time. And it, it seemed logical after a while to sort of focus just on Australian stamps. And I supplemented what my father had been doing for quite some time. And then when he died, they were put together and I've added a great deal to them, assisted by a really wonderful curator, uh, Tom Carter. Who, who has been president of the Victorian Philatelic Society on many occasions and he's been of great help to me uh, because I haven't had all the time that I would like to do to devote to this uh, but he's assisted and it's been a, a great credit to him in terms of the standing of the collection. Mr Morgan speaking to Lisa Maximovic, uh, I find it fascinating to see high powered uh, business people and other leaders and see their, uh, their, their private passions. Um, like stamp collecting. Yes, and taken on from his father. So. Yeah, but I guess it's uh, it's also a good business move. It's going <laughs> to get lots of money at auction. Here is a sport with Steve.